Two American League teams. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Oakland Athletics. Coming up on 2K Sports. When he's on, he is almost unhittable. Eric Bedard will see if he's on for this game. Oakland Coliseum, the home of the A's. We're out on the bay. 2K Sports of Major League Baseball welcomes you. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. One of the game's best will be making the start today as we'll see Ben Sheets. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, as a manager, he sent this lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. So who are you looking at, John? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, the last outing for the White Sox proved to be a win. That series was split going into game three, so they pulled ahead going two and one against the Mariners in Seattle. Sheets pitch swung on and missed. 0 1. That win was not really in question. A dominating performance for the last W. Yeah, the six run lead was too much to overcome. Very lopsided. And it's off the wall in left center. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. What's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning. And that's exactly what he did with that double. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. It comes off the wall in left center. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, a great piece of work right there to get that double and put himself in scoring position. He got a fastball and took a good rip at it. Nice, short, compact swing. Swung on and hit. This one to Crisp. What runners on the move. And Damon crosses the plate. Now batting. A good piece of hitting right here. The ball down to the zone. He goes down on it and drives it and hits it deep enough to the outfield for the runner to advance. Good base running on that, too. He was ready to tag up, but that wasn't going to fall in. Good piece of hitting. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. And uh, Steve, they've got the edge right now. They're getting some big runs at an important part of the game. Trying to salt it. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. It's off the wall in left center. Here's Quinton stretching it. And Ramirez is home. Now batting. You get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. At the belt, sheets, kicks, throws. First pitch, curveball, swung on a miss, going one. You know, I'd actually sit on this guy's curveball. It's an exceptional pitch, but it's his go-to pitch. You can predict when he's going to throw it, and maybe you're going to have a shot. You're out. And that one swung on a miss by Gordon Beckham. Well, it made that one look easy, huh? I mean, look at three pitches and a strikeout. Real. With a runner on second, Alex Rios up. Had a real strong offensive game last time out. Three big base hits. Oh, it's strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. Look at the matchup, 246 against the A's. That's a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Time for Rios now to protect. Let's see what he's going to do, 0 2. The hitter's got to be guessing right now. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. He throws. And he's out. They get him with that throw to first base. Uh, Gary was really going for it there, but the catcher's able to get a handle on it, give it over to first base in time. If he doesn't get it there, who knows what it might lead to. Outstanding hustle to make sure he doesn't get on on a third strike. Great offense early. First inning. And doing the pitching, it'll be Eric Bedard. He gets settled in. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be today as he goes against Oakland? Well, veteran left-hander Eric Bedard out on the mound. He's been hampered by injuries in recent past, but when he's healthy, he's productive. Quality, command of the fastball, outstanding breaking pitch, and a feel for the changeup. As a hitter, you have to be ready for all the different pitches. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. 
And it's going to be Quentin. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. Here's a look at the offense for the Athletics, presented by Pepsi. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, Mark Ellis is a guy that this team is going to be looking for some production today. He's been inconsistent throughout his career. Let's see if he can put something together and help his team get a win in this one. And it's Coco Crisp now. Oakland coming in, a loss in their last game. That series for them, they ended up losing one game to two against the Red Sox. Well, and it's about time for this team to put up or shut out. We're starting to weed out the true contenders from the pretenders, and these guys are right there on that hump. Good spot that time. Hit that outside corner. One and two. John, this is the point where they just they can't lose anymore, and they've got to put together a win streak. Well, they have to, and they, this is up the middle. How bad? What, what a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. And Suzuki's in the box in his fourth season now. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. And that's going to do it. Bernard goes there. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. And it'll be the White Sox. Going to be Brzezinski. Number 12, A.J. Brzezinski. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. For his career, 254 against the A's. Line towards second, picked up by Ellis. And so Brzezinski retired. Number 25. And Mark T into back. Right there in the top five and home runs. At the belt, Sheets strike kicks, one. throws. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Swing and a miss on the fastball. Second out the end. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in K Camp. Get a better look. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with. It. So pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. And Jim told me, what a year for him. There's a swing. That ball hit a long way deep into right center field. Tell it goodbye. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. That's where he wanted it, Steve. If you're going to drive the baseball, let me get my arms out, and he did. Well, he likes that ball away a little bit more. Gives him more time to adjust and react to it. Good piece of hitting. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep giving big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Sheets pitch, swung on and missed. 0-1. This is Steve, I guess, with that big fly, the inning these guys were hoping for. Well, that's exactly right, Gary. I mean, you want to have the big inning. When you get that opportunity, put a crooked number up on the board. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox up three. It's Cust at the plate. Designated hitter. Number 32, Jack Cust. Bedard gets set and delivers. Swings, lines this one softly to right. Base hit, gets it down. That's our first hit of the game for these guys. And that's going to bring Mark Ellis to the plate. Well, that's the start they wanted right there. You get the first guy on with the inning. No outs. Big things could happen now. That one fouled off by Ellis. And Mark Ellis watches that one go by. Count is even. He has not hit well in this matchup, just 158 against Bedard. He watches the 1-1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. 
That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Swing, hot shot, and they'll hold him at first base. Well, sometimes it's about the fundamentals. Sometimes though, it's about a flare from the dramatic. Well, good, solid, fundamental, flary baseball, huh? Kennedy at the plate. One out, run around at first. Ground ball headed for the middle, and he's got it. That's one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they want it. Uh, Kennedy's going to steal. Strike one! And he is safe at second. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. That's low and outside, one and one. He delivers. He swings and nails a liner. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The White Sox still on top. A look at the manager, Ozzie Guillen. Yeah, he has to be happy with the work on the Alexi mound, especially that Ramirez. last inning. Insurance runs so important. Ramirez is the batter. And uh, at the plate, one. one of the tops in runs scored. Top five. At the belt, sheets, Strike kicks, two. throws. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Going to have to look for a little bit more patience at the plate in this game because last game out, he struck out three times chasing pitches out of the zone. We got him there. That was a nice strikeout. But he made it look easy right there. Slicing and dicing, just attacking the strike zone. Three pitches, all for strikes, sitting out. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in Ribby. First pitch was a strike. 0 and 1 now. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to. Tighten up that zone. Oh, he just swung late on that oh. one. That's what you call getting gassed up. You're and out. Paul Canerco oh, strikes out to not make contact. That's a hard biting curveball right there with great break. Awfully tough to put in play. Swung right through it. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. He's the league leader in hits. Hit hard to second. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Goes quickly for Ben Sheets. One, two, three. And he continues to increase his effectiveness. No runs, third inning. Allowed three in the first two. And the Athletics coming up next. Leading off, Derek Barton. First take. Number 10, Derek Barton. Lined right at the second baseman. That retires Barton. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that. We have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly showed it there. And he got him. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Two retired here. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners, this lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient, they let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. A 1 0 pitch. Davis lays off that up high. The 2 0 pitch, a fastball taken for a strike. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the white side. 2 1 pitch, and he watches the fastball go by for strike two. Oh man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Comes in the box. Uh, we saw his last game. You got a chance to see that he swung the bat well in that one, picking up a couple of knocks. Spotted by Suzuki. 
Sheets pitch swung on and missed. 0 1. The pitch. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Here's the pitch. And he lays off that one high and away. One and two. Swing a high drive down the left field line. Out of here a home run. Add one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here four up. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Center fielder. Base is clear no outs. Alex Rios. And he starts Rios out. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Strike ben two. Sheets has him 0 and 2. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Now swinging and a shot towards second. One away now. And with this break in the action, let's take a look at the leaders in slugging brought to you by State Farm. Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. Nobody on base, one away. And here's the first one. Hit sharply towards the hole. That now brings up Mark Tian. Don't White forget Sox. to tune in tomorrow night. It'll be Number Carlos 25. Beltran and the New York Mets. They find themselves at Dodger Stadium to take on the Dodgers. We hope you'll be there. Things get underway at 10 Eastern. Oh, I guess, look, if you and John are going to be at that one, I want to go do that game, too, because that looks like it's going to be a good one. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Strike one! And Sheets gets it by. Called strike one, 0-1. There's a swing and a drive, deep right field. Two away. Now coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. And as Jim told me in the box, playtime, he's got a 285 average off the A's. Here's the delivery. Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect on one. Hard grounded a short. And he throws on the first. That'll retire the side. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. The White Sox, four run lead. Oakland Coliseum, beautiful evening. A little bit of a breeze, not too cool, though. Number three. And Crisp is back. Lined out last time up. Here's the first pitch. And it goes foul. No balls. One strike. Here's Bedard. And he fouls off another one. Deals. Swing and a bouncer up the middle. And that'll set down Chris. Number eight. And Suzuki's in the box. And the first pitch. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. A guy that just have not been able to mount any offense here today. I mean, one hit into the fourth inning, and, and obviously they haven't scored any runs, so they're going to have to change their approach at the plate. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. This one's going to be fielded by Ramirez, and that sets down Suzuki. Two down. And it's Jack Cuss now. He's off in the walk, top five in the league. Here's the first pitch to Cusk. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Strike 
strike. Call strike below the waist, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. Tough spot for the hitter right here, down 0 2. You got to foul off that tough pitch if you have to. Grounded up the middle, fielded by oh. Ramirez. Throws to first in time, that's three down. No hits, nobody left on, and a good defensive half inning. The White Sox maintaining their lead. The top of the order is due up next. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. One of the Johnny Damon. At the belt, sheets, oh. kicks, throws. Back up the middle, Pennington. And so Damon retired. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Here's the first pitch. Sheets pitch swung out and missed. 0 oh, 1. Here's the pitch. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Slug on, miss, curveball struck him out two down. This one tails down. Look at it just dropping off the table right there with a big break at 83 miles per hour. Now the first pitch. Line drive out of play down the right side. Swung on line to right center field. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. Well, they set down the first two men of this inning, but they couldn't get him out. A big double right there with two outs, and a two-out hit will score a run. And it's good. Swing and a hot shot. And in there, he's two for three today. Now, breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far, let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also first in on base percentage. That knack of getting on base better than anybody else. He can spoil a pitcher's pitch, work the count, he knows the strike zone extremely well. And here's the first one. Sheets pitch swung on and missed. 0 1. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Strike, strike two. two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Here it comes. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Tried to get him to go after that curve. One and two. The one two on its way. Curveball that tied him up in knots. Swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. White Sox four. Oakland nothing. And it's Mark Ellis to lead on. Second base. Number 14, Mark Ellis. The pitch. That one fouled off by Ellis. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. We only one runner left on base. And, you know, we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So, you know, they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. Ball. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Mark Ellis watches that one go by. Count is even. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. We're getting right up in the trading deadline. This is the Central Division at this point. Brought to you by State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. Twins in the second spot. In third place, it's the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. 
Well, Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything. Right. And it's caught by Ramirez. Gary, he just continues to mow this lineup down. We're talking about 11 hitters in a row retired. Pennington's in the batter's box. Six for 18, those career numbers for him against the White Sox. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. The Athletics can't get the offense going. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. Top five AL and runs scored. And he starts Rios out. Up the middle. And that's going to be a base hit for Rios. Now look at the leaders and extra now base batting, hits courtesy of State Farm. That's going to bring up A.J. Pruszynski. Well, uh, Gary, he, he can really Pruszynski. swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Great season. Top 10 in RBIs. And here's the first one. And Sheets is wide that time. That'll be a ball. Well, he's getting the job done this year. No question about it. Such production. So consistent. And it's fouled away. Swing and a shot to third. And he gets it through. That's his second hit in the ballgame. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. Number 25, Mark Tian. Well, anytime your pitcher gives up 10 hits, there's a pretty good chance he doesn't have a lot going for him in the game. And I think if I'm the manager, I'm going to head out there and bring the hook with me. Outman is going to come on and pitch now as the Athletics decide to bring in a reliever. And here's Martia. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. The pitch. For some reason, he tried to hit that pitch in the dirt. It's a strike. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that... Uh, really can deliver for this offense. Look out, and that ran in and got him. Well, the ball just sailed away from him, couldn't control it, now blows the bases. That's going to bring up Jim Tomey. And he'll be looking to pad the lead a bit here. When you get these kinds of opportunities, you have to capitalize on it to swing the bat. And the pitcher's really got to bear down now. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. Uh, Gary, as we saw the hit by pitch, now the base is loaded in so much pressure on this pitcher. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI in the top ten in hits. First pitch on the way to Damon. The fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. Strike, Strike two. two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though, he'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run in the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. He's a big home run guy. Top ten in the league right now. Strike Swings one. a little late that time. Strike one. Hot shot towards the hole. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with a single. And Rios comes in. And Pierzynski comes across two. So that's going to bring in two. I tried to go down with that 0 1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him to count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. So Paul Canerco with a chance, two on and a couple away. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now, each player feeding off the other. 
Uh, Gary, they keep lumping the hits together, they keep pulling away right now. This thing could be soon out of reach. And then maybe, Steve, this one already is out of reach. They've got to find some fortitude oh. to get back into this thing. This one's grounded near third. Foul. There's a swing and a smash. And Chris. And he's there to retire the sun. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Bob Guerin on camera. He's dealing with the prospect of an offense unable to get any runs here, compounded by the performance of his pitchers, especially over the last three outs. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a line drive. Back I'm able to pull that one in. Now we take a moment to look at the pitching staffs allowing the fewest free passes this month. Brought to you by State Farm. The Angels number one. The A's second. Blue Jays third. The Indians fourth. And the Mariners fifth. Well these are the teams whose philosophy is throw strike one. Pound the strike zone. Try to retire hitters in three pitches or less. They're getting it done. Swing and a miss. Even at one. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. Now Przinski sets up. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Sweeney again following it off. Well, as a hitter, you try to do anything you can to prolong the at bat to hope the pitcher makes a mistake. Nice job right there, fouling that 2 2 pitch off. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. This is the effective use of the fastball. You can move it around the zone and hit your spot. They go down and in right there. Looks like the hitter was thinking away. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. And he has just been magnificent through six. Still got outs to get Steve, but he's in this one. Now, Gary, he's got his great stuff and his great location. The White Sox maintaining their lead. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. First pitch to Quinton. Hit up the middle. Outman. One away. But a quick recovery that time gets the out. Gary, that's a nice play right there on the mound. Able to grab it and then toss it over easily to first base for the out. And Beckham's in the box. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Base is empty with one away. First pitch, here it comes. Good pitch that time, and it's 0-1. Well, you're running out of time in this one. You need to give your offense some chance to try to come back in this game. The swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. Sweeney's there. Rome's over, puts it away. Now look at the race for the title in the Western Division. Brought to you by State Farm. Mariners in first place. It's the Angels in second, A's third, and it's the Rangers in fourth. A decent play from the Oakland Athletics so far this year, about where we expect. Back up the middle, and that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game, 500 today. That's going to bring up A.J. Krasinski. Well, the key contributor in that last win, three big hits in that game, and he's seeming to find a way again to get it started. And doing the pitching, it'll be Craig Breslow. He's been brought in to take over for the athletics. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? 
And when you take a look at Craig Breslow coming into this game, not a guy that's going to overpower you. His fastball tops out at 90-91, but he's added a cut fastball, and that's become a very good pitch for him. He throws his off-speed pitch quite effectively, but he needed to be able to find something to get in on those left-handed hitters. That's what that cut fastball can do. Let's see if he can get out on those lefties today. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And Chris. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The White Sox six, Oakland nothing. Two hole to get things started next. And it's Coco Crisp at the plate. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. And the first pitch. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Well, this offense just not able to mount anything today. With the pitching has just shut them. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Back I'm able to pull that one. And you know he's looking ahead and feeling pretty good about it. And with good reason. He hasn't given up a run yet. And he's got to be gaining confidence. Swung on, line softly towards center. And that'll put Suzuki on first. And that'll bring up Jack Cousin. Our State Farm leaderboard, the group of arms who have been lights out over the past 10 games. The Angels number one, second, the A's, Blue Jays third, the Indians fourth, and the Mariners fifth. Let me take a look at these low ERAs, and I think it really points to the fact they have depth in their pitching staff. The starting pitching Ball. and the bullpen have been getting the job done, really limiting the opposition. Takes so much pressure off the offense. Right two. One, two, the count. Bedard gets set and delivers. You're out. And he got him. Strike three. And now with two outs and the seventh. The question is, can he keep this going? Now, uh, you know what? It's different for every guy, but from what we see today, he is locked in, dominating stuff, and he looks strong. And Ellis settles in, first pitch. Takes a call at strike one. Called strike, and it's quickly 0-2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Strike three. Man, oh, man, is he on a roll on the mound, Steve. You can tell by his eyes he's completely locked in right now. And the lineup indeed. That's now seven shutout innings. Number 25, Mark Tia. Pitch on the way. Strike one. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Hit sharply towards the hole. From his knees, got him. What a throw. Only way he's going to make this play once he stopped it is to make that throw the way he did. Even after the diving stop, I didn't know if they were going to have enough time to get him at first, but he didn't get to his feet. Throwing from his knees was the key. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with the strike. And that's a strike. Tome is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. He got him there. That was a nice strike up. I've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You see that back leg kind of jelly bitten a little bit. He's really used the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. Base is empty with two up. First pitch on the way to Damon. Fastball swung out of miss, stolen one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. And here come the A's. Home half of their eighth inning. Taking it down to the ball game. There's Ozzie Guillen. He has to be pleased with his team's performance so far today. First pitch. 
Oh, there's a swing and a miss behind 0 and 1. Deep into the ball game, only two hits for this offense, and clearly they've been overmatched, Gary, in this one. And you know they're going to have to try something, try to lay down a bunt, try to see if you can't wait them out, force them to throw more pitches, or get them out of the ball game. And that swung on and hit Rios. And Kennedy is retired. One away. Number 26. Pennington's in the batter's box. Ground out victim last time through. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Plays off a called strike. 0 and 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this AB. And it holds at 0 and 2. That one goes foul. Well, you can tell right there that the batter is in protection mode. Anything close, he's just trying to put it in play. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he'll just keep it himself, tagging for the up. It's going to be Barton. Lined out in his last at bat. Two outs, space is empty. Bedard gets set and delivers. And he takes a call strike. He delivers. He swings and lines this one softly towards the left side. And that's a base hit. Barton credited with it. That'll bring Ryan Sweeney up. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. Wrapping up uh, Sunday, the series with Oakland. They face off against another team at the top of their division, the Seattle Mariners. That'll be Monday through Thursday. They'll stay right there for the next set of games. The Oakland Athletics. Lots of home games. That's always a good thing. Not looking last time. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. Beckham. Not in time. In there at third. Fantastic chance here. Looker, I didn't think he was going to try to go to third base there, but I like the aggressiveness. And now he's in scoring position. He can score so many additional ways. Two men on, two men out. You can drive this one. Bedard gets set and delivers. Strike one. And there's a called strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That's on the ground to first. Throws to second. That'll be a force out and the third out. They're held in check yet again. Scoreless through eight. There's Bob Guerin, the manager. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough Alexi game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. Here's the first pitch. He got the bat on that one. Sweeney's there. The catch is made. Here's a look at what's coming up for the A's. They'll wrap up this series with the White Sox on Sunday. Then they'll have to contend with Michael Young and the rest of that lineup for Texas. That series bound to be competitive. That'll be a three game series. And there's another stop on the road trip. The Chicago White Sox will swing and a rocket towards short. And Conerco retired. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. Just faced each other a couple of times 0 for 2 against Breslin. First pitch to Quinton. And that's by him 0 1. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Line to left, but that's going to go foul. Oh. Here's the delivery. You're out. Strike three. Quentin on a swing and a miss. He's out. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. And the Athletics coming up next. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. 
Great game this club has put together. Things have gone really well. Here's Chris. First look. A shot up the middle. Beckham. One away. Pressure continues to mount. Not a bad way to start the last inning. We've got a shutout going. Want to get the first guy. He's going to need every bit of that defensive support in the end. And Suzuki's in the box. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Well, he's dazzled them out on the mound here in this one. He shut them down, keeping them off the board. Only three runners left on base, and they really haven't even challenged the defense. Still 0 and 2. Swing and oh, he shatters his bat as he hits this one on the ground. And that sets down Suzuki. Now you're hanging on for one more out. Now he's going to take a little extra time to regroup right now. Throwing a shutout this day and age is pretty tough because offense usually dominates. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he hit on the ground. This could be the end of this ball game. Steve, that was one of the most outstanding pitching performances that we've seen in recent memory. With that final out, he's got a shutout. Well, he didn't miss a spot the entire game. He had great defensive play behind him, a great all-around team effort. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And we take a look at our performance that earned the Pepsi Clutch Performer Award. But you couldn't have asked for a more dominant display on the mound than what we saw today. He was mixing his pitches well, changing speeds, but the thing you notice, he didn't throw any pitches over the center of the plate. That's what made it so special. And when he needed it, he could get back and reach back and get that little bit extra when he needed that big out. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and local. 